Hi, this is a really quick video to let you know that Accurig has been updated to version 1.1. Accurig is a free software which allows you to quickly and easily rig humanoid characters and the process is almost automatic. I already made a detailed video about the whole process including export to Blender. So if you don't know the basics of the software, please check that out. Uh, in this video, I'll just assume that you know the basics and I'll show you what is new in this update. Now, this is not a major update, but what is really cool to me is that the people from Real Illusion seem to have solved exactly the little problems and um, annoyances that I personally had with the software. And I can even prove it to you. If I go to Help Feedback Tracker, here you can submit bugs or suggest improvements to the software. And if I go to My Issue, you see that I posted two suggestions. One was to let us easily switch to orthographic views, and the other one was to display wireframe in the viewport. Another one which I didn't post was the fact that Accurig does not feature an undo function. And I think undo is a basic feature that should be part of any modern software. In my previous video, I also mentioned some issues with the symmetry, so let's see if my wishes were fulfilled. Now I'm going to start by drag and dropping some random humanoid character that I have into the software as an FBX file. And right away, uh, there is a new feature here, which is called force symmetry. If I enable it and then go to rig body, then I won't be able to disable the symmetry. Symmetry will be on at all times, which is great if your character is actually perfectly symmetrical. And my character is very symmetrical in this case. And if you go to rigging hands, Normally, you have to align this first uh, hand, which is the right hand, and then you have to go to the left hand. But here in this force symmetry mode, you don't have to do this because everything is assumed to be symmetrical. You just need to align this hand here and then you can finalize your character. Okay, so this was force symmetry, but now I'm going to go back and load my character from the start because I want to disable force symmetry uh, and show you some of the other features, okay? Back to load character, I'm going to drop my character and I'll keep force symmetry unchecked. Center line is looking good, so I'll go to rigging the body. So here in the upper left corner of the interface, you'll see some info about your model, which wasn't there before. You'll see the total polygons of the model and also its height. Accuric tends to work best with models that are real world size and my character seems to be 2 meters and 20 centimeters, which seems a little bit off. So ideally I should go back to my modeling software, scale the model down and then bring it back to Accurig. But moving on, if I go to this interface with the cubes here and click one of them, you'll see that that puts me into right orthographic view. And this is top view and left view, bottom view, back view. So orthographic views, check. Now, just below the orthographic views, there is another new button. And if you hover over it, you'll see an additional menu, which says final render, wireframe, hmm, and wireframe on shaded. If I choose wireframe, I'll see transparent wireframe. And by default, it should be white. And then if I go to wireframe on shaded, I'll see the shaded model with wireframe on top of it. And then if I go to these colors, I can choose the color of the wireframe, which is great because this model that I'm using right now is white and the wireframe is also white. So, so things may be hard to see. So I'll switch to a contrasting color like red and now I'll be able to see the wireframe clearly. And that can help me place the markers precisely because by looking at the wireframe, I can see that the elbow is probably in this area. So I'll just place the marker here. Also in the wrist area, I can align the marker near an edge loop. Okay, so the request that I actually posted on the Real Illusion website had been implemented. That's amazing. Of course, I don't think it's just because of my requests, but it feels awesome to get exactly what he wanted. Now, what about the undo function? Um, I didn't post a request about that. So let's try to move a marker and press Ctrl Z. Ha, nothing happens. Let's go to edit and see if they have an undo function there. Nope. So we didn't get the undo function. Maybe next time. And in fact, I'm going to go to the feedback tracker right now 
and create a new issue. And I'm going to request the undo function. And if you also want it, I'm going to share the link to the issue. Please upvote it and comment on it. And maybe we'll get the people from Real Illusion to implement this important feature. Cool, now back to Accurig. There are even more interesting features. If I enable symmetry now, that is why I wanted to disable force symmetry. I'm going to enable symmetry. And if I just move this marker, the one on the other side will snap into the symmetrical position. Now, this is not new, um, but if I disable symmetry for a second and try to move this um, point, which should stay in the center, I can easily misalign it. I can place it to the side of the character. But now we have a button, snap to center plane. If I just press it, the point will go back to the center. And now if I enable symmetry and move this marker, it will only move along the center plane. So that is very cool. I didn't request this feature, but I did complain about this in my previous videos. So again, I'm getting exactly what I want. And now if we go to rigging the hand, again, by seeing the uh, wireframe, I can easily identify the knuckles, even though uh, I don't see a texture on this model, but I can clearly see that this is the knuckle based on the wireframe and I can place the marker exactly in that position. And now something that we already had in the previous version is that if I hover over any of these um, markers, all markers of the same finger will be highlighted, which is nice. But what is new is if I switch transform type from selected to hierarchy, then I can just move one of the markers and all of the rest of the markers will move with it. So I'm moving the whole finger in one go and this is definitely um, handy. So I'll quickly finalize this finger here, uh, switch to selected actually, go to the left hand, use mirror right to left because my character is symmetrical and then I'll finalize my character. Now I'll switch to final render and you'll see that the character has been rigged with the nice deformations that Accurig tends to produce. Okay, and here we have another new button. If I just click it, that will display the bones that are actually used to animate this character. That's all for this video. Again, if you need an actual tutorial about Accurig, check out my previous video, which goes into a lot more depth. And I still want to do one more tutorial because there are advanced features of uh, Accurig which haven't been properly covered. For example, you can rig a character with one arm instead of two. You can also make sure that solid meshes, such as uh, helmets and armors, do not bend after the waiting process. So I'll try to cover this in the near future. But for now, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and consider supporting us on Patreon or Gumroad.